How y'all doing? Um, I'm reacting to a Legend of Winning video. It's not really a Legend of Winning. It's his second channel, but uh, it's Bob Cousy is better than Chris Paul. So I guess I'll give my two cents on it. This, if you didn't know, uh, apparently some old man who's trying to be Skip Bayless really bad said that Bob Cousy is better than not Chris Paul. Yeah, better than Chris Paul ever was. And JJ really cooked him, so. By the way, for anyone who actually agrees with this, Bob Cousy had Bill Russell, uh, our, the bet like Bill Russell to on his team for literally every one of his championships that Bob Cousy won. Chris Paul had Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan for multiple runs. He had James Harden, who's one of the biggest playoff chokers in recent history. I'm not saying he's a bad player, but he's still one of the most one of the like, obviously, he's decent in the playoffs, but James Harden's not a good player in the playoffs. And now he has Devin Booker, a very unproven young talent, who, yes, made the finals, but that was mainly because of Chris Paul's greatness. So Chris Paul's never had... And don't bring up the early uh, Hornets runs, because Chris Paul's never had, like, a superstar teammate like Bob Cousy did. So that, that's my two cents on the situation, but that's all. that's all I need to say. Yo, shout out to JJ Reddick. He be, he be calling him like it is, like dead ass, no cap. I don't understand why people do this with Chris Paul when they act as if like he's the only great player in NBA history who has bad moments and bad games. Yeah. <laughs> no cap, no cap. That's more ingrained in people's mind. No cap, he he spin, he spin. This concept of who he is as a player, especially in the postseason. But no, no, no. Like Chris Paul, if you go look at the numbers and you just watch him play, he's gonna act a rather consistent performer. In the postseason, he's actually yo, literally one of the best postseason players in NBA history. But the biggest reason why it just doesn't translate into a championship is either A, he's facing players who are just better than him, and I think that's a fair assessment, or B, injury. Yeah, he faced the Warriors like two years in a row, or five years in a row. He was facing the Warriors like almost every year on the Clippers. When he made it out of the second round, he had to face a Rockets team, I think. No, or is this not? Yeah, this was a Rockets team. I don't know. All I know is Chris Paul's faced way better a competition than Bob Cousy did. It's not it's not, not cap, it's just factual, he's true. And Jerry West was like JJ I I watched this. Jerry West was pissed because of JJ Reddy called him a firefighter. Jerry West, you're a racist. I don't have to take your opinion any seriously. You're you've literally said some outlandish stuff, Jerry West. So your opinion doesn't matter to me. <laughs> You are scoring 40 and telling your teammates to get on the back of the bus. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> that's, that's literally the only reason why. But to argue that like, Chris Paul is a bad postseason player is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But people have to build up that concept of who he is, and that's just not the case. Anymore. No, 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 no. It was, it was, a, it was, I was an octane. It was he a turnover. <laughs> he fouled Russell Westbrook, and then he turned it over on the <laughs> This man, JJ, right? No, I was on the team. I was there. It was a turnover. <laughs> Imagine telling the dude that was on the team, like the dude who was there, witnessed it, what he did when he, that's not actually what he did. Imagine, like, he had five turnovers, and the dude's like, I was there. He had one. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Chris Paul had five points. I'm pretty sure he had like twenty or something or sixteen. That is one hundred. Your question? No, no. Chris Paul never had a five-point game in the playoffs, and this is the reason why it's so hard for me to take people as older people serious when talking about. No cap. No cap. So you don't want me to believe that you remember vividly about things that may have occurred 
10, 20, 30, 40 years ago is just outrageous. And it's fine. Like, it's, it's completely fine. Because there's moments where you just don't remember it. That's, that's yeah, fine. but the <laughs> five, five points. Chris Paul. It happened just either a few years ago or even just a few months ago. Chris Paul didn't have a five-point game in the finals. He didn't have one. He's, he had a bad game in the finals. I'm assuming he's referring to the, the game four or five where he was held to ten points. But he have a five-point game. But even if, like, I were to say... That's absurd. From 10 to 5 points, you're cutting his points in half because you're trying to push this narrative that Chris Paul is the ultimate playoff juggernaut when that's not the case. He's literally, on in most of the playoff runs, he's been the best player on those teams. Like, I don't understand where the sentiment has come that he's the biggest playoff choker in NBA history. That's Tracy McGrady. No offense. That man never made it out of the first round. Elgin Baylor. Jerry West. Jerry West was 0-7 or something, 0-8 in the finals. Elgin Baylor, 0-9 in the finals. These are what we call playoff chokers. Chris Paul lost one finals. He made it there. He lost, obviously, but he's not the biggest playoff choker. That that honor goes to either T-Mac or, yeah, I'm going to be honest, it goes to T-Mac. The man never made it out of the first round. Love T-Mac. Really love him. Blew a 3-1 lead. His one chance to get out of the first round. That. It's the biggest playoff choker. T Mac's great though. No cap. That's the game he's talking about. So what? Again, every all time great player has bad games. Absolutely. Point out to you. I don't know why people highlight that from C P three, but literally every single all time great player, they have poor performances. Chris Paul literally had one bad game. Like one like egregiously bad game. And that's, that's just fair to bring it up. But to act as if like that's a depiction of what type of player he was in the finals is ridiculous. Absolutely. That's not, that's not actually what occurred. But again, you do this for players that you're trying to push an agenda for, a narrative for. I don't, oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I went off of Jerry West earlier, I completely... Uh, he said, J.J. Reddick, you were just a role player. Well, Jerry West, you were just a playoff choking racist. <laughs> If you can't tell. Who doesn't even remember what happened a few months ago? And you want me to believe that he remembers vividly what might have happened a few decades ago? No, bro. A few decades ago? You're talking about the 50s. That's not a few. That's a good amount of decades. But if you're wondering why I don't... I definitely don't like Jerry West, if you couldn't tell. I will make fun of Jerry West. I don't like him. He is not... He is not that guy. <laughs> He's not Bob Cousy is nasty. He's not Bob Cousy is n- nasty. Imagine he's got from those probably gonna get to it. But imagine comparing a guy who never shot over forty percent. Not even that's not his three point percent because there wasn't a three point line. That's his field goal percentage. A guy who never shot over forty percent in his career to a guy who shoots 50, 40, 90 some years. That's nasty. He's not Bob Cousy. You're nasty. The discount skip Bayless. Let's celebrate Bob Cousy in his era, but you can't compare pre 1980 with with. Oh yes, you can. Oh, you can't. No. West and Oscar were in the same era. You can't. How about West and Oscar? They were literally competing in the same era. What? <laughs> How, how, how about we compare West and Oscar? How about no? No one cares about those two. One's a stat padding loser, and the other is just a loser. No, I love Oscar Robertson. I I know he's not a stat padding loser. He did win the championship. Unlike some racists out there. People got so upset about the things that JJ Reddick is about to say and what he was saying. I want people to recognize that. Everything that J.D. Reddick is saying is factually correct. Yeah. Bob Cousy played in an era where there was like eight, ten teams in the league. Almost every team in the NBA in that league at that time made the playoffs. Yeah. You had to literally have been the worst team in the NBA to not make the playoffs. 100% facts. And that's why Bill Russell was eight on my all-time list. Uh, Like, he won 11 rings. Obviously, you're the best. Like... 
to do that, you literally have to be the best year in, year out. Like, no, not one person could dethrone them. Even short amount of teams means more teams, more good players are spread out on every single team. So obviously, the best players are spread out on every single team. There's more good players on each team if there's less teams. So for Bill Russell to dominate like that, it's insane to me. That, but he still ate because it was still a small amount of teams. There weren't as many playoff games and there weren't as many rounds. So it's obviously going to like skew my view a little bit. But that man, Bill, he got it. <laughs> I do not like Boston fans. They pooped on his bed, if you didn't know. Yeah. If you didn't know, crazy story. Boston fans broke into Bill Russell's house and crapped on his bed. <laughs> teams making the playoffs in an eight-team league. It was not impressive at all. Like, nothing that they did was impressive. It doesn't matter in terms of modern standards or even back then. It just was not that impressive. Yeah. Was oh, was they oh 10 out. minutes. Got a name. Embellishment, mainly because out of, out of the things that Bob Cousy did is revolutionized in terms of basketball is the fact that he was one of the very few ambidextrous players. Oh, yeah. Bob Cousy was great for his era. But at the end of the day, like, what Jalen Reddick is saying is actually factually correct. Yeah. The great player Western Oscar playing in his first football in the NBA. He did that for one season. He did that's That's nasty, Lo. You're nasty. Just immediate. He did that one year. One time when Jerry West and Oscar Robertson that was when they were rookies. That one time that he did it was when... Oh, uh, shoot. Oh, an ad. I'm not giving you any... No. At when, as soon as that sophomore season hit, Bob Cousy was no longer making first team all NBA. It was just like that. It was... When Jerry West and Oscar Robertson was in the NBA. That one time that he did it was when they were rookies. <laughs> After that, at when, as soon as that sophomore season hit, Bob Cousy was no longer making first team all NBA. It was just like that. It was done. They came in the league second year. They were already better than Bob Cousy. I don't even have to compare Bob Cousy to players in today's game. I'll just compare Bob Cousy to other greats at that time. Oscar Robertson and, and Jerry West in their second years were leaps and bounds better. Ah. Uh, uh, he was already uh, better than Bob Cousy. Uh, 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 <laughs> I can't keep pausing. This is a 16 minute video. This video is going to end up being an hour if I keep pausing. To answer that question, yes. Chris Paul has been all first team all NBA. He said it multiple times. And he did it against much better competition. <laughs> this is nasty. I'm sorry. Bob Cousy was one of the most progressive prayers. This is some nasty. It's true. I can't say it's slander because it's true. He never shot above 40% from the field. Here's the thing. People, people got to say that. That's nasty. He's holding. Him to a different standard. It was different back then. You're right. It was different back then. It, it absolutely was. It was. It was a horrible league. It was horrible, trash league. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's nasty. It was a horrible, trash league. You're nasty, Lo. That's nasty. That's just how they played. You have to compare it to 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 that era. Let's eat, let's do that. Bob Cousy was still inefficient even for his own. Oh. There was three years in Bob Cousy. I actually career, like Bob Cousy, but yeah. Higher than league average. Only three. So even if we <laughs> compare Bob Cousy to the era in which he played in, he was still inefficient. Eh. What's even crazier is, as soon as Oscar Robertson came in the NBA, oh, he was shoot, he was able to shoot in the high 40s. He was able to shoot in the 50s. Ah! As soon as Jerry West came ah, that's a, like that, oh, he's, he's, he's definitely shooting over the Ooh, that's a bullet. Ow. Ow. Ugh. <laughs> ah, he's so ass. Bob Cousy's so bad. That is true. <laughs> Stephen A, that is true. Hey, hey, Stephen A spit on the side saying, that is true. Hey, hey, hey. Can't kill the message there. That's true. What's crazy is that actually is true. People drag the whole plumber argument for like the 90s and the 80s and stuff like that but literally and i do mean literally in the 50s playing basketball was like a side thing a yeah side thing. uh well like that was not, they weren't i'm only gonna run it to eight minutes but they were yeah having regular nine to five i wouldn't finish this point but they treated it almost like it was a wreck they just went to go play basketball they didn't take it serious they weren't practicing they weren't doing all the things that were necessary to put your put themselves in any conversation of Level talent. Even Bob Cousy himself openly admitted 
played basketball in college, never really took it all that serious, wasn't even expected yeah. to get drafted in the NBA because he wasn't like that wasn't something that he was doing. When he got drafted in the NBA, he had never seen like an NBA or a BAA basketball <laughs> game in his life at that point. There were even those resources that were available to Bob Cousy even then that he didn't take advantage yeah. of. Yeah, 100%. Like, 100%. Like, like, or as players, as, as people. But Bob Cousy was literally matching up against firemen. That is, that is actually... Ooh, that hurts. People out there who are going to say, like, what about Jerry West and Oscar Robertson? I want to say majority of Bob Cousy's career was actually played in the 50s before Jerry West, before Oscar Robertson yeah. came into the I'm going to cut him off there because I don't want to steal his video. This is pretty much already, like, I've already took in half his video. And I don't want to, like, you, if you want to see the rest of what he says, go watch the video. I'm not going to, you don't just get to come to me and watch his video. Obviously, I, I, I love Legend of Winning. Very smart dude when it comes to basketball. Very good takes. And I love his content. So I'm not going to steal his entire video because I've already stolen half, essentially. And I don't want to. Look, if you've watched this and enjoyed me talk, his video just from me reacting to it, cool. But go watch his actual video. It's called, uh, one second. Hey, Bob Cousy is better than Chris Paul, foot on the line. If you want to see the rest of what he has to say, go watch his channel. But I'm just going to get, I'm going to make the transformative, give my opinion on Bob Cousy, right? Like he was saying, he never shot over 40%. He was being, he was literally being guarded by bums. These guys, like, these guys are actually bad at basketball. They weren't playing. And it's like, how are you going to say a guy like Bob Cousy, a guy who never shot over 40% is compared to Chris Paul? That's my opinion on it. It's just like, he's being guarded by people who took basketball as a side job. So that's my whole take on it. If you guys agree or disagree, cool. I don't care personally. It's your opinion. If you think Bob Cousy is the greatest point guard ever, go ahead. But, um... I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please go check out Legend of Winning and Foot on the Line. Uh, both great channels run by the same person. And Playback. Playback too. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want more, leave a like, subscribe. All of the generic YouTube stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I will talk to y'all later.